I'm here with the director for The Cave, Firas Fayad. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on the movie. It's such a powerful uh, um, uh, movie. And people, I mean, it's sold out at the Opera Plaza here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. And um, the story is about like the, um, uh, the power of woman who's trying to save lives under uh, in hospital uh, called the cave that established underground completely. It's built underground. And the cave is a system of uh, complicated networks and uh, shutters and uh, uh, basement that was around Syria. It was it came as a response on the heavy bomb and the intentional intentional direct targeting for the hospital from Russians and the Syrian regime around Syria. So the uh, doct Syrian doctors they managed to move this uh, hospital uh, underground and build, uh, uh, rebuild kind of facilities could be look like an hospitals. And Dr. Mani was one of this lonely woman and lonely female to manage and lead hospital in the uh, the whole way of the wars, but also in the history of Syria, that she was the first woman to manage a hospital. It show you like a many uh, deep stories about um, about the wars, but oh, about also the collapse of in uh, justice system and the equality. Actually, how we get the footage outside of that sieged area, which is like very. Um, right question um, I uh, half of the footage we managed to upload it in something called internet satellite used by journalists who are covering the war uh, but the internet satellite is bombed uh, and we've been uh, couldn't upload this is footage in the last uh, three months until like uh, uh, we managed to smuggle this is footage uh, through hard uh, through flash driver, yes, and it was so scary about the, the context because it's like um, an evidence for crimes uh, against the humanity and uh, I'd show you the chemical attack and show you like the, the, the direct targeting for the hospital and there's a lot of like a recording and conversation between the uh, Russian pilot between themselves, how they talk to each other about targeting and also Arabic conversation between the Syrian regime pilot about targeting hospital. So it was like there is a lot of evidence, real evidence that could use as a like evidence for war crimes. So it was so scary. I smuggled them by myself. I take them in different uh, way and they'll take them outside of Syria and it was so scary also in Turkey and then I managed like to get them out. I don't know actually how I managed to smuggle out uh, smuggle those footage outside of Turkey to to um, uh, to Denmark where we edited the film. Have you had a chance so could you go back or did you go back to Syria after the movie? Uh, no, I didn't get back to Syria uh, after the movie, but I was uh, starting another project in Syria. I already shot like 20 uh, hours from uh, another movie, like uh, featuring the work of a group of lawyers trying like to save lives, lives uh, from um, uh, conservative law in Syria and get out of this is personal because their political opinion from uh, the Syrian regime uh, prisons. Yeah. So, but you said you haven't gone back, but you you said already start shooting. Yeah, I already like during shooting the cave, I was uh, oh, meeting okay. meeting a lot of lawyers. I have been heard about their stories before because I was also by myself a, uh, a prisoner of by the Syrian regime because making movie, and some of this lawyer helped me to get out of the prison. I was like tortured for I've been jailed for 18 months and tortured because just I'm a filmmaker in because Syria. make in Syria because because just making film my my crime was making film and so some of this lawyer was uh, was um, who was help me helping me in uh, release me so it's like I, I it was the idea from that time and try like to have a communication and I felt like this is the right time to tell this is a story so I, I've been shooting like a lot 20 20 hour uh, alongside with shooting the cave what is the message for you uh, to the to the audience. Um, firstly, the the film is like we managed to put 
this is footage wasn't intentionally didn't know that this is will end in the films you know you when you for me when I'm when I'm when I'm shooting this with my cinematographer which is Syrian cinematographer uh, uh, we don't we don't know that this footage will end in something the important things that how we can put this in front of the public as a uh, testimony on war crimes that happening in Syria and get the attention for that, make people engaged more and try like to understand more because the news normally it's like uh, can don't give you the right feeling about um, about what's happening. There is no empathy, there is no emotion, there is kind of lack of the empathy there, and this is uh, this is the, the 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 problematic side. The the movie, the cinema is stand on how you gain more empathy, how you make people more understand, how they can company with, with your subject and spend the time. It's about the t journey in the time and emotions. And this is what I'm trying to get, to get the people to more feeling what's, what, what's, the, what's the meaning to live in this is where I hope the people take from this is film that it's the current situation right now, it's, uh, it's what's, what they saw in the movie, it's happening right now. And the, the reason also behind the, the administration of uh, Donald Trump, but also because the Russian, they didn't stop bombing the hospital and uh, Syria. As well, I want, hope the people engaged and try like to do an actions, try to write messages for the, the political representative, try like to separate war, try like to get more people see the truth. This is sharing the truth that will make them more understand how they can engage more. <laughs> it's a powerful message and again you're such a brave man and congratulations and congratulations to all the people involved in the cave it's such a, a powerful beautiful movie if you haven't seen that yet um, the opera plaza just behind us it's screening the movie uh, go online check it out the link is right here below you can see all the times the the cave it's uh, screening at the opera plaza pick the time come with friends with family because and bring a handkerchief because you're gonna cry thank you so much one more time thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you.